Ever wanted to install or even potentially reinstall Windows 11? This is how to do it. This video will show you how to do a clean install to check if your system meets the requirements or if you're looking for how to upgrade to Windows 11, we have videos explaining these linked in the description below. So firstly, grab your Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive, which again, we have a video explaining how to make one also in the description below. Plug it in and turn your system on. Your system should boot automatically from the flash drive, but if it doesn't, you may need to go into your BIOS and change the boot order. Once booting, enter your desired language settings and click next. Then choose install now. If you have your Windows license key to hand, you can enter this here, or you can do this later within system settings. Then choose which version of Windows 11 you want to install from the list and click next. You can then read the license terms if you wish and agree to them and also click next. You're then given the choice to upgrade, which will keep all of your existing files or to do a custom install, which will erase everything. On the next screen, you can partition your drives or you can do this later within Windows. As this is a fresh install, choose your desired drive and simply click next. Windows will then start copying and installing from the USB to your desired drive. Once completed, the installer will then automatically restart your computer. It will then get all of your devices ready and show you more customization options. You can choose your region, keyboard layout, add additional keyboards, and then it will check for updates. Next, it will ask you to name your PC, though you can skip this if you want. You will then be greeted with further customization options about how you're going to use the PC. You can choose to log in with your Microsoft account or create an offline one. You can always log into your Microsoft account at a later date from within user account settings. Give your user a name and a password and then follow the next steps to your own individual needs, enabling or disabling the options that you require. The installer will check for further updates. It will then take a few minutes preparing your install and will then boot you straight into your desktop. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more quick tutorials like this, as well as other really cool content. If you do get in any trouble, even after watching this video, definitely head over to our Discord. Again, the link is in the description below and we'll be more than happy to give you some assistance.